Welcome to post-game coverage of Tech State Volleyball. I am joined by star hitter Janelle Fitzgerald and head coach Sean Hewitt. Uh, thank you, uh, too, for joining the show. I uh, appreciate it so much. Of course. Thank, thank you. you. And it's you're finally here at the, the center stage in the Sun Belt Tournament. Uh, a lot of – it took a long time to get to this point, but what was just the feeling to finally to get on the port, uh, court and play a game? I mean, to just get on the court, we were super excited. We – obviously didn't do what we needed to do in the last game, but we just saw this as another opportunity to just get stronger and get better and better ourselves, um, be that adversity that was, everything's going against us. So might as well take it to our advantage and then get better. Yeah, we were definitely excited to um, get back on the court. Uh, we had some good practices. Uh, like she's saying, after that UTA loss, we wanted to get back in and kind of show that we're still on a mission and we don't love losing, but uh, we, we think it was kind of a wake up call that we needed to know we have to go to another level to win this thing this weekend. So uh, it, it was good to get in that facility and it's, it's a different facility that we're used to playing in. So to be able to uh, get in there and, and play the first match and get all the jitters out was, was fun. And you look at this match too, this ULM team was very fast paced. They came up open the sets with a couple of leads, but then you're able to kind of take control of the game. Uh, when you look at this performance from ULM, just what did it take to kind of slow them down and start playing Bobcat volleyball? Yeah, I think they, one of their things they were going to come out serving, they tried to get us off uh, guard with their serve. Um, so they came out serving very aggressive. Uh, we, we kept talking about, doesn't matter who's on the other side of the net. We wanted to make sure we were playing Texas State volleyball. So I think there at the beginning, I, like I said, there's always some of those nerves. It's conference tournament, new building, new facility. And so you kind of, settle in after that and I thought we played really well after the beginning uh, of the first couple uh, points in each set. I agree. And Janelle, uh, when you've put up a really good performance to nine kills, two blocks. You found a way to make an impact this season and even at the biggest stages you've seen to perform at your best. What does it mean to you whenever you're able to step out onto the court and know that you're an immediate threat to opposing defenses? Um, I don't know. I just, it's all with my team. It's Nothing really about me. It's I just focus on our play and how we can better ourselves and what the rest of my teammates can do better. If that's me helping, then that's great. But if it's not me helping, then I can find a way to do something differently if that's cheering my teammates on. But it's definitely – it's an, I love that I can be um, looked at as a threat, but it's everybody's a threat, really. Of course, and – doesn't doesn't stop here. You have an upcoming matchup against South Alabama and coach as you kind of look at what you want to improve on work on when you head into that matchup, what you're hoping to see from your team. Just as you Yeah, we forward. need to pass better. We need to pass a lot better. I thought they got us again out of rhythm with our passing uh, with their serving. Um, I thought we did those serve pretty well. We had eight aces uh, and only five misses, misses, which is a good ratio. And like I said, I keep saying it was it was good to get comfortable in that facility. I like that we played that match. Um, to get familiar with that. I think you'll see us pick up our passing and be able to get our offense back going a little bit. Um, can't say enough about Jill Slaughter. I thought she had a really, really good match for us. Um, and it was fun to get Tierney back out there. And we just kind of let all three middles play a little bit to get in a rhythm because we, we've said it all season, but we're going to need everyone. And so uh, being able to play a lot of kids today was fun as well. And to kind of close things out, you've been to this tournament. It's a little bit different in the way they designed it, the way they're trying to do it. Just what are your overall thoughts on the way they've kind of designed this playoff bracket? And just what do you think are the strengths and weaknesses of it? Yeah, you know, I think there was no we, – we kept saying as the coaches, there's no fair way to do this because we're, we're having a different schedule. We're having that. We can't do this. And so taking everyone to the conference tournament was the best way to do that. Um, I kind of like the pool play. You get in and get, get to play some matches. Um, it will be inter interesting to see um, if there's any ties and everyone beats each other and how they go down to points and sets and all that. that that'll be the challenging and interesting thing. Um, but I, I think it's nice that everyone's here, you know, besides Arkansas State, who did not get to join us because of COVID. So um, it, it's, it's definitely different uh, and unique, but it's uh, definitely going to be fun. Yeah. For sure. For sure. It definitely yeah. feels like a club tournament. <laughs> Yeah, it's in a club facility. It's in a, I, I think they did a really good job with the court set up in the main court. It's the Terra Flex. It looks yeah. nice. Just with COVID and everything, they couldn't really do bleachers and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So that kind of takes away. The fans are sitting floor level with you on two chairs each way. And so that's a little different. So like you said, it kind of feels like we're at a club tournament. Uh, luckily, all of our kids play at high level club and yeah. we're really good. So <laughs> we like that. 
And lastly, uh, on a lighter note, one of the fun things that came out yesterday was Lauren Teske and practice mic'd up kind of going through that. I just want to see what your reactions were just thought, because I think from my perspective, it was just really cool to kind of see what it's like in practice with the communication and talking and the fact that I was able to get just what are your overall thoughts and just having fun and be able to show that. We're definitely big on communication. <laughs> so like to, for y'all to see that, y'all don't really get to hear us, how we talk and like how we communicate with each other. It's super light, super easy, where everybody knows how to really interact with each other. So for y'all to see that, I love that. But I don't yeah. know, it definitely fun. brings out the personality. Let's yeah. everyone see kind of what it's like in practice. And, you know, I you know there was definitely some <laughs> leaps out and some some editing because Lauren, when, they gave it, when we picked it, Lauren, I was kind of like, wait a minute, are we sure about that? But you know, she's she, you gotta love her. She's gonna say what's on her mind, and she speaks a lot, That's and so true. it was good. All right. Well, thank you both for joining the show. I appreciate it. Best of luck against South Alabama. I'll be talking no to you soon. Thank, thank you. you.